Hello, this is Dean. If you need a clutch replaced in your handheld auger, you come to the right place. If you've never ever done it before, you've also come to the right place. So let's get after it. My particular auger is a Thunder Bay model, available at most box stores. It is a Y as in Yankee, 43 Z as in Zebra, 08, which means it has an 8 inch auger. Although this auger is a real workhorse, we really put it through its paces last year when we dug 12 holes for some fruit trees in some very rocky soil and another 24 holes for a greenhouse. Shown here is the exploded diagram for the owner's manual that I downloaded off the internet. My particular clutch part number was 430004 and I'll provide for you underneath this video both the location of the owner's manual and where I ordered the part from. Now with the patient up on the table, let's go ahead and remove the auger by removing the bolt that holds the auger to the output shaft from the engine. With the auger removed, it's now time to turn our attention to removal of the gear case bottom. Note here that we placed the engine assembly on some black plastic and we were also wearing some gloves in case the transmission assembly was full of oil instead of grease. Fortunately it was grease. Here you can see the small 7 tooth pinion gear on the right engaging with the 48 tooth main gear on the left. As we lift up this main assembly, we push the pinion gear downward. This part is called the clutch drum and we merely lift it out of the way. Anytime we're working with a compressed spring like the one on this clutch, be sure and wear your safety glasses. I grab some slip jaw pliers placing the outside jaw on the outside of the casing so you don't mar anything on the inside and wrapped it around the bolt to use as leverage so I could use my 17 millimeter here and loosen the first bolt. Throw your gloves on for safety and rotate the clutch around 180 degrees. Now we grab the loose bolt and put our socket around the second bolt. I tried this with two separate sockets but it just won't work because when you're loosening one bolt you're tightening the other. Now with both bolts loose, be careful as you unscrew them not to lose the washer down inside the assembly. Don't ask me how I know this. I'm taking the second washer out now. And as you're lifting the old clutch out, be careful because there are washers underneath, one of which you'll see stuck to the old clutch and one washer remained inside the assembly itself so we just merely lifted it out. Now the fun begins the new clutch installation we began by placing a couple of the washers down inside the assembly and then the new clutch gets set into place being mindful of the arrow right there Now some blue thread locker that comes in a red container. Don't ask me, I don't know why. Don't forget that these two bolts have washers on them as well. I grabbed the first bolt here with my slip jaw pliers just so I could tighten the opposite bolt before rotating the clutch around and using the slip jaw pliers in much the same fashion I did when I loosen the bolts. Of course you can do whatever you please, whatever works for you, as long as you don't scar up the inside of the housing. Next, grab the clutch drum and set it around the outside of the new clutch assembly. As you set the gear case top back down onto the pinion gear, allow it to engage the main gear. Orient the gear case bottom properly and set it in place. 
Here we see the two inch and a half bolts and the four two inch bolts that go back into the gear case bottom. Be sure and apply blue thread locker before reassembly. As with any project like this involving multiple bolts, you always want to retighten them in a diagonal fashion. We're almost at the end of this project. Secure the auger by sliding it back up onto the shaft output from the engine. I found that the hole in the auger collar had to be perfectly aligned with the hole in the shaft coming out of the engine. Therefore, I incorporated the use of a punch and a rubber mallet. Now let's put her to the test. We just finished planting six rose bushes for my dad. He's happy, I'm happy. And I hope you're happy too with watching this video. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you'll subscribe and tune in for our next project. Thanks. Hello, this is Dean. I've got a handheld auger that needs a new clutch. Hello, this is Dean. Welcome to my video. If you need a new handheld clutch installed, kill it. Hello, this is Dean. Welcome to the video. If you've come here because you need a clutch replaced in a handheld auger, you've come to the right place. If you've never ever done this kind of thing before, hello this is Dean and welcome. If you've never replaced a clutch in a handheld auger, you've come to the right place. Oh. Hello this is Dean and welcome to my video. Maybe you need a clutch replacement in your handheld auger. Maybe you're just here to see the video outtakes at the end. Whatever the reason, I'm glad you're here. So let's do a clutch replacement today. What do you say? Let's get after it.